Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning Panning and Beyond. Um, this is an introduction to a panning project that I just couldn't not do. Um, not something I ever thought I would be doing, but this was created by my lovely friend Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. The name of the panning project is Paranormal Pantivity. It runs from the 24th of September, which I believe is the National Ghost Hunting Day. Um, not my thing, so um, I'm probably the biggest scaredy cat you'll ever come across. I just don't do scary movies, horror. Uh, love Halloween, but um, yeah, that's about the extent of it. When it comes to paranormal stuff that really freaks me out so um but here i am joining in there is 31 prompts to this i have to give credit before i get into my prompts to um, andrea's sister maria who created the thumbnail that we are using so um, i will make sure i leave maria's details also in the description box and a link to andrea's channel i believe there's going to be a playlist um for all the people that are participating in this project pan uh so all of that sort of stuff will be in the description box um all right so i am going to run through the 31 prompts and i've already picked out all my products um and i've decided that my updates will be bi-monthly for this one as well initially i'm going to do an update after the first month and then bi-monthly thereafter all right so the first prompt is poltergeist a product that gives you trouble either it's hard to use faulty packaging etc okay so <clears throat> yeah so yeah i should have looked at this beforehand now my um product that I picked I just wrote liquid liner so um let's just find one but yeah just liquid liner in general I'm really really I've got older eyes loose skin on my lids um shaky hands <laughs> you know I'm just shit at doing liquid liner so um yeah that is going to be the first thing so that's the one we're gonna go um with so the goal for that is going to be just 13 uses um all right number two is the doppelganger a product you have a double or a backup of all right so this is actually something that it's a whole palette um full of duplicate singles in my collection so that's it there um i'm going to do no pan left behind style with this palette i want to use every single um, in here at least once all right number three white lady product that's white or with white packaging so i went with my ColourPop lippy sticks primer if i can get it to wind up it is it's never been touched that's the full full product there um yeah i think that'll take me a couple of months um to get through and then that one will be gone so uh number four we have bloody mary a product with a mirror um so i decided as this is something new in my collection and I like to use some old and some new uh, that I was going to roll in this Back Yourself palette from P. Louise uh, because she has a mirror and um, yeah absolutely love the colour story and the goal for this one is to do 13 looks with it with each look I have to use at least one shade out of that palette because I don't I think if I used this palette solely by itself I don't know that I'm imaginative enough to actually come up with 13 different looks all right number five vanishing hitchhiker a product that disappears quickly so I decided to throw this one in it's a Colourpop ultra glossy lip gloss the shade is starburst um you know you put these on and it doesn't take much for them to come off you have a cup of coffee you have something to eat and um yeah and then your lip gloss is gone and the goal for that one is to use that 13 days so rather than 13 times i use it multiple times in a day uh so i wouldn't want to be so using it four times in one day and then um that's four uses so 13 days on that one uh, number six is gremlin a mini or deluxe sized sample so i thought i would throw this one in i'm probably gonna hate myself for this found it so it is the tartiste 
uh, Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade Stunner. I've already gotten rid of one of these. I, thought, I actually thought I had gotten rid of this as well. Um, I think I am going to really, really regret this. So lucky I've only got a goal of 13 uses on this because they just dry down so quick. Um, it's really hard to get them to blend in, um, but oh, I'll just have to grin and bear it. I think after that, the 13 uses is going to get decluttered. All right, number seven, Screaming Skulls, a Halloween slash scary themed product. So I'm going with the Touch of Glam Hocus Pocus Highlighter. I've got the it's Halloween themed. We have the pumpkins um, on there. And uh, yeah, definitely very pretty. I'm going to enjoy using that one. And the goal on that, again, is 13 uses. Eight, Banshee, a product you are close to finishing. <laughs> That's where it was. I was looking for this in the video. I just filmed. All right, so it's the Sol de Janeiro Lip Balm. Um, I Andrea had just sent me um, a, a new one um, for my birthday, and I love the scent. It doesn't irritate my lips. It's just such a great lip balm. Um, and, uh, yeah, I loved it that much that whatever was left in the tube of, of the other one, I um, scraped out and put into this little tub here. So the goal was to um, finish that. So that's awesome because once that's gone, I've now got the other one um, from Andrea. Number nine, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Is it the book? Die book? <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea. A product still in its box. Hopefully it's still in its box. Because it was when I put it in it. Yep. Nope. Nope, I've taken it out. Um, oh, I think that was, I pulled it out. <laughs> Whoops. I pulled it out um, when I did my haul video, which will probably go up. Has it already gone up? I think it's already gone up. Um, so you'll be able to see in that video, at least it was still in the packaging. But at the time, um, when I pulled this, it, it definitely was. Um, so it is the Huda Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in Prom Night. I've set the goal of 13 uses. That's the shade there. So a really sort of nice um, neutral shade. Uh, Kelpie, a product you use in the shower or bath. So I picked out this one. It's a lavender bath. I've got both actually. Uh, these are the last bath bombs I have in my collection. Uh, so this is the Bubble Bar, Coconut Milk Lavender. And this one is Hootie's Subs and Bubbles Bath Bomb, Lavender Chamomile. So um, yeah, I'll be using both of those up. Uh, number 11, Bogey, or also known as the Bogeyman or the Boogeyman, um, a product you use at night. So I picked the Ordinary Squalane, or is that how I, I say Squalane. Whatever, tomato, tomato. Anyway, um, I've set my goal to finish. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in my bathroom. I forgot to grab it um, for this. You'll have to forgive me for that. Um, I don't claim to be a professional um, project panner. But yeah, so the goal is to finish that. Um, number 12 is a demon, a product that you were tempted into buying. So this one, MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. This was on my wish list. I already have maybe three or four other setting sprays. I had no intention of purchasing this anytime soon. Then I got an email from Mecca saying that one of the beauty loop bonuses um, was a tub of bum bum cream. So I couldn't resist. Who is going to resist getting a free bum bum cream? So I had this in my wish list. I placed it in my cart and I processed the order and I got the bum bum cream. So definitely I eventually would have gotten this but I was tempted into buying it straight away because of the bonus so that is that and um, I'm only going to set a goal of 13 uses on that one as well uh, all right then we're going to ectoplasm a face mask so I have a couple of face mask samples here and I really want to get 
like I just don't do face masks hardly at all anymore um, so I, I'm really trying to get all my samples out of my collection so I decided to throw all three in um, not really sure that it was a good idea but anyway I've got a whole year to do it right so I've got this Peter Thomas Roth uh, cucumber gel mask so got that one so not sure whether it'll take me one or two uses um, to finish these up but this one is a freshly juiced vitamin E mask um, by the brand Claire's. I don't even know where this came from. Deep moisturizing antioxidant for all skin type for day and night. So there's that one. And then this one is the one I'm really not too sure about. The, it's by Fresh. It's the Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. I'm going to be happy that I rolled this one in. But it's in so if i use it once i might just test do a little test patch first if it does break me out um or, or really overly dry my skin out then um yeah i i'm, I'm not gonna um use it again and i'll just roll it out so that is for that then number 14, we've got Ghost, a product with unfinished business, aka something you previously panned but did not hit your goal on. Um, so this prompt was inspired by Emily and Max. And I, where is it? Um, I chose the Becca, Becca Opal highlighter, which was in my um, other panning, panning project that I'm doing. Um, I hit my goal on it in that one. Um, and which was so X, X amount of uses, but in the top, meantime, I'd hit pan on it. So now I really, really want to finish it. So that's the goal that I have set um, for that one. Uh, then number 15, Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. So I have a lipstick by the brand called Necromancy. Um, the shade name is Grave Digger. And um, that's the shade there. Um, so 13 uses on that one. Then 16, we've got Ouija board, a product with embossing or an imprint. I have got um, my Odin's Eye blusher in peach gleam. That is the absolutely gorgeous packaging on the outside. All right, so you can see this has the most gorgeous imprint on it. Uh, so the goal for that one, again, 13 uses. Um, then we have number 17's Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true. Um, <laughs> face, ga fa fa face Glaze Beauty Pastel uh, Multichromes. I haven't reached for it much. I don't know why, because it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I've just got too much eyeshadow, you know. But I keep buying more. So now this actually did arrive um, damaged and I managed to repress it. But oh my God, um, you're not going to be able to see the shifts on this, but they are absolutely stunning. Um, I'm just going to quickly, I'll swatch some for you. Um, so that's some of them there. Uh, yeah, stupid me has not um, brought myself... <laughs> Ah, uh, that's my better. I didn't bring in a a wipe, so and now I've got to touch other products. So yeah, good one, Lisa. Um, so that's them swatched. They are so really, really stunning. I absolutely love everything I own from Face Glaze Beauty. Um, I've got quite a few of her eyeshadows, and um, I would love to buy more eventually so the goal for that is no pan left behind each use each shadow at least once so that will not be difficult to do at all uh, number 18 orbs a product that brings light to your face so i decided to um bring you a super beauty liquid chrome illuminating um drops it's called hibiscus um it's really pretty it's oh, hard for, to see um it's but i hate the dropper <laughs> uh, this is way way too dark for me as a highlighter but i was thinking i'm going to end up using it more like a, a liquid blush um i don't know what what on earth possessed me to buy this at the time but yeah so that's it yeah i'm going to try and get 13 uses out of that one uh, next one, Seance, a product you bought because someone else told you to or recommended it. 
Um, <laughs> all right, so this one I can attribute to the lovely Michaela Naguera. Um, she, I don't know how many times I've said to myself, do not buy any more liquid highlighters. Uh, but she said this one was beautiful, so I had to get it. Uh, Milk Cosmetics, it's their sex foil. Um, I think it's called Sex Foil Digital Liquid Highlighter. The shade is Stargazer. Uh, 13 uses on this one as well. Um, so number 20, Flying Dutchman, a product you were doomed to pan, what feels like forever. Mm. It's already been forever. So I've got my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and Tantric, but I have been working on this for so long. This is the only bronzer that I have in rotation. There is a bit of a dip happening, which you wouldn't be able to pick up on. I don't know how, I, I'm guessing this is a fairly shallow pan. I'm probably going to like die of shock when I actually do hit pan on this one day. Um, but uh, yeah, the goal is to hit pan. Why do I do this to myself? Um, but anyway, we'll see how we go. So I've got another year of use. Um, well, everything, every other bronzer gets neglected. Um, anyway, powder ones, anyway. So yeah, so that's that goal. Afterlife, number 21, a product past expiration date. Okay, so I, funnily enough that I said that, um, I <coughs> decided to roll in this Benefit Du, 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 du U, D E W, Du the Hula liquid bronzer. Um, I want to finish this. I've already started using it. I've got no idea how much is left in it. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm just going to keep using it. So um, I just want to use it up and get it out of my collection. Uh, number 22, Black Dog, an animal themed product. So I decided to bring in this beautiful palette. It's the uh, Menagerie Cosmetics Flight Club palette. It just, the purples in it are just stunning. And I've never used it since I got it. So that's it there, brand new, never been touched. I want to get some use out of it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, no pen left behind. I use each shadow at least once is the goal for that palette. Another one I don't know how to pronounce. Domovic, Domovic, D-O-M-O-V-I-K, Household Spirit in Russian folklore. Um, a product that has followed you from house to house. <laughs> so I used this last week. Um, it is the Avon Nail Polish in sequined turquoise. Um, yeah, really pretty shade. Because my um, shirts for work are blue, I have a black jacket, black pants, but I've been wearing a lot of blue nail polish. Uh, but yeah, I have had this for years and I reckon that I this has been with me probably through at least four houses and yeah as you can see there's hardly any use on it at all like you can't really see through the bottle but it's it's down to there so um that has a goal of 13 uses yeah I should be able to get that in once every four weeks <laughs> I'll, I'll get that um goal done uh all right number 24 exorcism an item you want out of your collection so I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a color correcting um, one. This is a not my favorite formula. Um, it's a silicon based one. Oh, it's okay. Um, I don't actually see that it does any color um, correcting at all, to be honest. Um, it's probably going to take me forever to finish it, uh, but that is my goal. So I'm going to be moving towards that. I don't think I'm going to hit that goal in this project, but ultimately I'm going to keep working on this um, until it's it's out. Number 25, haunting a dupe, uh, dupe a product that haunts you or pan a product you regret buying. So I have Colourpop Super Shock um, Shadow As You Wave. So <sighs> I regret buying these. Um, I have not touched them. I think I had at one stage 144 Super Shocks. A lot of them have dried up. Um, love the colour. I mean, they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, it's just purely, I just don't 
reach for them because they're in single pots but um yeah really pretty shade it's it's a me shade so i definitely want to um get some use out of that and i'm actually going to try and finish it so wish me luck now that is still um i'm still getting a decent amount of you can see on the finger it looked really good but when you swatch it yeah it doesn't look quite so stunning um but yeah you can see there how very underwhelming it actually is when you swatch it out so um anyway we'll see um, said, uh, oh, i don't know if i regret that goal but anyway it is what it is uh number 26 let's keep going tommy knocker a spirit that lives and works in mines a product named after a metal or a metallic product such as a metallic eyeshadow metallic panic packaging etc so i have got my astralis metallics cream eyeshadow the shade name is gold gaga i've had this forever i've already had it in a painting project i think in 2020 so it's got a nice dip going um and yeah i really just want to get it out of my collection um so yeah goal for that one um is 13 uses for this uh, project but i think after that I, i'm gonna try to still use it up so Hmm. A 27 reincarnation a product you have bought in the past that has updated packaging so i picked um my enchanted luster cosmetics luxury chrome bow palette um this is the packaging when i bought it since then i'm gonna pop a photo up of her um current packaging i i really really enjoy enchanted luster's shadows they, they're stunning um this is the inside the goal for that is to use it no pan left behind style um as well and then we have revenant i think i pronounced that right uh, an item that has come back into your collection something you've repurchased so i have got my heart labo tokyo skin plumping gel cream i think this is the last one i have in my collection and it's probably my third or fourth one the goal for this one is to finish uh number 29 silkies female spirits dressed in silk a product with silky texture powder or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth a lotion or skincare so what better than to roll in my sol de janeiro bum bum cream the goal is to finish this i have a tendency to um save this for special occasions but i think i've now got four tubs in my cupboard so what um i need to use it um and yeah i really love the scent and just in general i'm a bit slack when it comes to using um lotions and uh but i always love that feeling especially after you've had freshly shaved your legs and um and you put some nice body lotion on it's beautiful and thick that's what she said um all right number 30 spirit a nature themed product um i decided to pick the at forest site palette because forest nature um by color pop um i absolutely love the color story um of this it is missing a pan at the moment um i apologize for that but that's how it is um at the moment because uh one of the shades is actually in my collab palette that um, I'm doing with Andrea uh, yeah so didn't think to put it back in before I showed you so the um, goal no pen left behind finally finally down to the last prompt Tower of London a product that makes you lose your head either in delight or frustration so mm, this one pisses me off uh, so Briogeo curl charisma Briogeo I love their don't despair hair mask um i've used their shampoos and conditions before i really had high hopes for this so massive tube um um it's a leave-in defining cream i have to say that uh no <laughs> it, this is awful in my hair it just leaves it feeling sticky and stringy and it's just not enjoyable at all i'm really disappointed um 
and yeah I have set the goal of only 13 uses because I don't hate myself that much to try and make myself finish it so that's it finally there 31 prompts rolling them all in hopefully my updates will be um, a lot shorter than this um I'm hoping you've managed to stick with me I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's videos that uh, are participating in this and supporting Andrea um Andrea love you to death that was probably not appropriate um but maybe suitable so it's time for me to go I'll see you all again soon bye